this in the rear. And what happens with this? This is called a saddle. So that's what we're doing. Doing a saddle stitch book. And this goes in like this. You press the treadle. It does exactly the same as stapler, but it's not actually shaped. It's already being fed through the machine. So let's see, shall we? So now we need to cut these down. Okay. Yeah, okay. Need some more flat. So that goes like that. There's a green, there's a sort of a brick red, there's a blue. Um, I love this one. That one, do you want the brown side or do you want the, that side? Um, this one. Okay. This one. Let's have that out then. So this is called Rexine oh. and it's a book cloth, but it's had leather sprayed onto it. Mm -hmm. To make it look like proper leather. That sells five millimeters. That's five millimeters there. Look, and about five millimeters there. So two seven two millimeters. And this way, you may do. to the back. So if we do 90, 797. So that's the width and that's the length. So that's where our boards will be. Okay, so that's 10 there. That's 10. It's called grey board. Because it's grey obviously. So that's that's waste. Then we need a uh, two hundred and seventy-two, don't we? Mm 
to use it as a template. So that should be like that, yeah. So that'll be the outside cover. Yeah, and then we'll cover that. Like that. So you want to cut that out, cut that one out first? Okay. And I'll get some glue. Okay, so what we've got to do now is we've got to put your tip your boards on. Yeah, so that's that one, that's that one. So what we need to do, with this would say, that's going to be the front of the book, I think, Disney. So that's the front of the book. And this will be the front cover. That's going to be the back. And that's going to be the back cover. So now what we've got to do is put some glue onto here. And get these distances about the same. So if I do five millimeters, which I think is plenty. These are called dividers. Yeah. And what I do, what I tend to do, I just go along. And just carefully make a mark. I don't want to cut into it. I just want to do myself a mark. So now I know that that there, look. Right there, and that mark there. That mark there. Right there. There. And there, that's where to I'm now going to try to get these to be the same. Okay, there might be a slight bit of difference, but I think that looks okay like that. That's not too much there, and that's it's a bit tight this that way now, but I can always do this, I can always push it forward a little bit so that they're all the same like that now. So where does that come on our mark? That's, a, that's about where we say it look. Yeah? So, this is what takes the time now. This is and then we put the board on. Make sure you've got the right one for the right side. And we go. No, actually, I'll put it on the wrong thing. I should have put it on the board. Yeah. On the board, I put it not on there. Because that's too far over. Okay. It goes there and there. Yeah. I'll try not to put it down in glue now. And normally, you'd probably use a slightly thicker glue as well. It goes there and there. Turn it over and just have a look. And we need to straighten it up a little bit, don't we? Yeah. Like that, yeah. Is that the same there? And that's about the same there? I think so. That's good. We need to push that down there, so that needs to go onto there. Okay, we do that. You won't see that glue, because it'll be off your cupboard. So that's that one. The same with this one now. Go along there, look. That looks okay to me at the moment. Now, I need a bit of paper now. So we need to let that dry, like I say. So it's waterproof. This side's fine, you can glue that. But no, I like it. No, I no, like I know. It. We're going to use that side. The glue would stick to that side. It won't stick to this side so easily oh. because it's waterproof. So, we need to sand it down just so the glue can pe go over. Yes, it's down then. There you go. And that will come around like that. So we've got more than we need, which is great. But we've got a bit too much, so we're going to take. 
Uh, that one shelf. Need to cut it? Yeah. Fill in that fold or crease. This board out of the way. See? I'll get some material called calico and we'll put that round the back. We want to get the cover started, so let's have a glue out centre. Okay, that's it. to make sure that we cover it all because if we don't it won't stick down over right. from that screw keep it over that's not right see I've got that there so I'm not happy with that so I'm gonna lift it and replace it right there I've got to do the same. Yeah. Yeah. So now. Yeah. 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 I don't think anyone's in today. There was literally like two people here. Nice. Everyone no. just took the day off because they uh, had. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, she has been here for a while. Oh, <laughs> she didn't want to tell me that detail. <laughs> so you, like, that's okay. That's yeah. all right. Yeah. Then that's there. Okay. And now we've got to turn all this in as well now. So what we do, we need, we need that, see that piece of bone, that's it. And we glue along here. Yeah. As I say, this might be a bit difficult to stick down because it's, although you've taken some of the surface off, it still will want not want the glue to stick down but so easily. Hold that and we pull that with our fingers. And this bit here, we rub down, look, we rub it into there. And we pull that tight and we pull that tight. And you stand it up on the end. And to make sure we pulled it tight, we rub the top as well. Because we don't want it to be all lumpy, do we? And we can push that down. I'm going to sing with the other so, yeah. side. And pull that. So that gives us a nice corner. Yeah. It should have been sticky out at the top there. Comes in. If I do this, it would be easier than that one. Yeah. If I do that, look, and push that bit down, gives you that corner. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. And the same on that one, we push that one down, and we push that one down. Stand that up for a bit there you now. The next piece is so this is this isn't it's book cloth, it's not calico. So what we want to do is prevent the paper pages ripping if it's opened. So that can happen. So what I'm gonna do is fold that in half like that look. 
Hold that in half like that. And I'm going to put a crease in that. Then we need it to be a bit shorter. So I'm just going to snip a little bit off. So that's that there. Now, I'm going to put that round there. <coughs> I'm going to start to get a cough there. And mark that with a pencil. There. And there. And we're going to glue this now. <coughs> Hang on, Rich. <coughs> so we're going to glue that side. Actually, glue it in. Normally, you leave this to dry for a couple of hours at least, maybe yeah. overnight. Yeah, so for a better thing, we shall, shall we continue tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. What we'll do is we'll leave it at that stage in the cover. Okay, so I tell you, when I finish this, but I'm, I'm never putting cardboard with a scalpel again. <laughs> Need some out now to. What is it called? Paste. Oh. That's its technical name, DG280. <laughs> it's it's pro it proper book binding paste. It's, it's stronger than. boards okay. we, use, we use this so it's quite slippy mm -hmm. it's not but they, you won't know this, but it's called tack value. So when glue, you get different grades of glue. This is quite a slow drying glue. And it's actually got starchy. Um, which we were looking for for a few minutes ago. Um, it takes longer to dry. But once it's stuck, it sticks really well. So now, what we've got to do is glue your book. So that's got to go in. Rightly so, that might perhaps just need to come back a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. Then what we've got to do, so we've got to glue that side and bring that over like that. 
so it mirrors that. Then what we do is we turn that over and then we check, so it might be, it might be like that, exaggerated. So what we'd have to do with this glue, we can move it with PVA. No. Yeah, can't do it. So, so that we know, then we know that we can actually then glue this side and bring that over and do that side. Then we press this little bit of a press and we have a look. We have to leave it to dry for a bit. So let's, let's do this first. So that's going to go like that. So basically you do a, a practice go. So you go like that. Yeah, that comes over to this. I mean, we need to come a bit first. So I need to come this way. A touch more. Try again. That's better. Okay, so we know that's the correct position. I we'll just need to come down a touch because that's wider than that one. So we'll come down a fraction like that. Now. So now I'm going to glue again, same way as we did before, but mm -hmm. try not, when you go off the page, try not to come back this way. Oh. So you get glue on your, on, on, your, the, on, the, on, your, on the book itself, you don't want to do that. Some of this glue might squidge out as well on the side. So, make sure you've got clean hands. <laughs> and bring that over. Like that. Flip it over, then you say, okay, I've got that. And that's a bit too close, so we're gonna go back a bit, come back a bit. So we've got some squares. Pull it a bit. See how I can move it a little bit? Mm -hmm. I can't so I can't do that with PVA because it won't let me. So we need to lift that now. And we rub it down. So see like these edges? There's a little bit dry there, so I've got it sticking up. I'll stick a bit of glue in there. And we'll that down. Okay. Now, your turn. Now you do that one. Okay. I'm going to rub it down there. Yeah, so I'm going to that thing over. Rub that side. And we're going to rub that side. And then what we do is gently open it. We don't sort of put it mm. over sharp. Put it open carefully. Because I see it can, it's like the wallpaper, it wet, it stretches. So this will stretch. Okay, that's okay. And we know that one's okay. There's no air bubbles. Look, that's what we're looking for air bubbles. You see the pencil mark. So when it dries out, yeah. you can use a pencil oh. or a rubber and then remove it. You can also work on this now. Can't you? If you wanted to draw something on there or for a minute on there. But actually I I should have written my name somewhere. Yeah. So, so what you can do you could you could print you could either print it out and stick it on. Yeah. That would be called an onlay. Hmm. Or you could take that image you've got at the front and put that in the centre and that's another on that's an onlay as well. But can you see what your book's doing now? Because it's wet? Yeah. Going like that. So we need so to press we need, it. So we need to press it. Yeah. So that goes into the nose. That goes onto there. So these are, that's your book in the, in the Now this is a book press. Yeah. And what we do, put, we have to put it in the middle. Yeah. I'm going to go and spin that round now. And you have to keep away from that because if it hits you, it's a it hurts. big iron. It's big iron metal. Yeah. See, it's fun better. So just yeah. Just give it what we call a nib. Turn it like that. 
leave it for a few seconds, bring it back and undo it. go through make sure the pages are not stuck together so see like that this that's okay yeah then they're, they're okay they're not stuck together yeah, so what should be I should be able to put that into something and, and have it open like that yeah so it's it's wet now and it wants to do what it wants to do because it's damp. So what we need to do is wrap it up. Okay. Stop it moving. So were you planning to work on this today? Oh, uh, not really. I've got another week. Okay, so, so what we'll do, yeah. I'll wrap it up for you. Yeah, is there any way that I So if I give you the other one It's on Monday or Tuesday whenever you're in next week. So come and collect it. Okay. Okay? okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you can have that to practice on if you want to. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay then. Alright, uh, see you.